Hello, it's Craig from Yes We Communications here, and today we're going to look at the Hytera PD405. Okay, the PD405 is a uh, digital radio, uh, it's, a, it's a DMR standard, um, and it's a nice little radio as you can see. Okay, well, let's have a look at what we've got here then. So, the first thing you might notice is that the, um, well, if you're familiar with um, handheld walkie talkie style radios, is that the uh, antenna is in the middle. This is, um, I believe, uh, actually patented by Hytera, a design patent um, or design, registered design. So, you'll only find it on the Hytera. The, um, the logic behind it apparently is it uh, makes it easier to use. Okay, so on this we've got a volume control and you'll turn it on and a few seconds later is it going to do it? it beeps it again. and as you may have heard then it says 1 what this doing is telling you we're on channel 1 so if I turn it this control which is the channel control so that's your volume on off your channel control turn it on, 2 right. Okay, so let's start one, one, two, three, and then one. Now the reason it's making that tone noise when I've turned it to the, the fourth channel is because the fourth channel is not programmed in at the moment. This particular radio, um, let's see what we've got here, 16 channels can be um, programmed into the, uh, the rotary control on top, um, and the number of configurations can be put in depending on your requirements. One advantage of these radios um, is if you're already using two-way radios at the moment, is that um, these are um, can these are digital radios, but they will work with an analog system. So if you've got the older type analog system, uh, analog radios, these so they are known as migration radio. You can communicate from digital to digital radio. So for a couple. Here they work digitally, but you can also communicate with an older analog radio. Therefore, it saves you money because you don't have to replace all your radios at once. You could you could get some digital ones in uh, while still using your analog radios, and when they wear out, um, put more digital ones in until you eventually you've got digital radios, which uh, is obviously uh, a lot cheaper, especially uh, yeah. <laughs> with our costs going up uh, in the economy. So, um, well, what else can we tell you about this radio? Nice and compact, fits in the hand well. Um, I believe it's an IP55, um, I'm sure it is, rating, the ingress protection. So, it's, it'll take a, a bit, a bit of uh, splashes, a bit of rain on it, but it's not the sort of radio you want to be using in um, a damp, wet environment. Uh, reason being, if it, if it was if you were, I don't know, working outside in the Outer Hebrides all the time, uh, water you could, could start to get inside it. So you might want something like an IP67 rated radio, which uh, could could be dropped in water and and would be okay. So this you might want to use maybe security or in a, in a hotel or uh, light industrial. Yeah, in a factory, something like that would be ideal. Um, right, what else can we say about it then? So, belt clip fix on the back of it. Um, flick that and the battery comes off. Fairly standard. Right, I think, um, right, let's turn a couple on and I'll see, show you what they sound like. Just wait a minute. Good, we're both on the same channel. Now you might think, why on earth is it doing that? Well, I suppose if you're in the dark, if you're if you're at night, um, it's it's easier to, for it to tell you than be able to see it. Or if you were visually impaired, for instance, you still use a radio, uh, and you know what channel you're on, which is obviously uh, beneficial. Okay, let's uh, give it a whirl. Test, 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 testing, testing, one, two, three. Two, three. Okay, so that was an example, uh, a bit of a demo. I mean, 
ideally it would have been better if I had someone in my room at the moment, uh, but I'm making this video <laughs> by myself at the moment. Fortunately, anyone else is out. So, it comes in a box like this, you get your radio, you get your, your manual, you also get a single charger and a power supply like this. So, fits in there, charges nicely. You can also get a six way charger, that means just six, a bank of six. So, if you had yeah, well, half a dozen radios, just slot them all in in one place, which will save you having to have a lot of six extent. Yeah, what sticks plugs into an extension lead, um, keeps it all nice and neat, which is which is an option we can, can provide. So, uh, yeah, we we if you're a, um, a business in uh, Lincolnshire or East Yorkshire, for instance, we we're happy to. Um, to come out uh, and demonstrate these at your, your um, premises, even uh, you maybe lend you some for a couple of days uh, or weeks, see what you, you think. I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll find these useful. The reason you'll find them useful, if, you, if you're thinking, why do you want these for, is saves time. You can, um, you don't have to go around looking around the factory looking for people. You can give them one of these, top pocket, call them. Yeah, where are you, Bob? Come to the office. Uh, yeah, we need to we need to speak to you, and it saves you money. So, uh, yeah, that's it then. Basically, the High Terror PD four hundred five from Yesway uh, Com Yesway Communications um, Yesway Limited in Lincoln. So um, our phone number is um, 01522 um Wake up, Craig. It's seven four zero eight one eight. So one five two two seven four zero eight one eight. Okay. Um, yeah. My name's Craig. Uh, if, if I can be any help, let me know. Uh, thanks for thanks for your time and uh, have a good day. Okay. Bye.